All right, everyone. We're on the last roll from that epic bank score. If you haven't watched the first five, I recommend you do that in order so that you can get the buildup that I've been getting to get to this last roll. If you have watched all five rolls, congratulations, you made it this far. We're on the last one. Let's see what else we get. Well, here it is, everyone. The final roll in the epic bank score of a lifetime here. Um, if you've watched the other videos, you've seen the varieties. This video, I'm going to open the unopened bank roll. It's got a weedy showing on each end. When I gave this roll the magnet test, we appear to have possibly a steel set in here. So, without further ado, let's get opening. I'll we'll just go around here. And loosen it up like that. And just as a reminder, we're gonna get to the steel head first. It's already wanting to pull out the coins. There it is. Let's take a look at it. Could be blind, but uh, looks like a 1943S. And if you're gonna have a steel one, that's the mint you want because they made in 1943 when they made the steel cents, they actually made about 684 million of the Philly mint, 218 million roughly of the Denver mint, and only 191 and a half million of the San Francisco mint. Let's take a look up close together and make sure it's an S. Yep, 43S. And again, you know it's a steel scent when the magnet picks it up. And again, I know people don't like me doing that because you could damage the coin, but this is not an uncirculated condition. It's not a great looking coin overall. It's worn pretty good. The back is in great condition overall. I'm happy with it. Wow, it's a good looking coin on the back. Too bad the front doesn't match it. But you know what, overall, solid coin. A little damage around the date and mint mark, but still a good looking coin. And then the next coin I noticed was this really solid looking coin as well. Remember, this is that bank roll. So if it was rolled a long time ago, these weren't in circulation very long. What year is this one? It's a 56D. Let's look at the next coin. That's a 1925 D, and they only produced 22 and a half million of those that year. So that's a great find. So, so far, other than the 56, but it was in great shape, we got a 43 steel and a 25 D. Wow, that is a great score so far. And then we got a 58 plane. Fifty four S. A nineteen thirty nine S. Fifty two million of those made. Good coin. Forty one plain. Eight hundred eighty seven million minted of those. Oh, I don't want to be. I don't want to. Be, oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I really. <laughs> did I just see another Indian? Wow, are you kidding me? A 1903 Indian. Got a little damage here. Not in the best of condition. Back's got decent detail. But that is encouraging to get such an old coin in a roll after getting those 50s. Let me uh, pause the camera, take a closer look at this, and then look at to see how many uh, were minted in 1903. All right, so 
As far as the uh, years go, it is one of the more common mints. There was about 85 million minted that year. But guys, between my 1892 I scored in the last roll and this 1903 I scored in this roll. Oh my goodness. And we're, we just got this roll started. There could be more in there. And to see a 1903 coin in a roll gives me optimism about what's a, the, what else is in this roll. Wow. Huh, this is exciting. <laughs> 56D. Forty four S, so two hundred eighty three million of those minted. Nineteen forty four plain, another plain nineteen twenty six. Gosh, that's a it's a lot of nineteen twenty six planes. Nineteen thirty five S San Francisco Mint Mark thirty eight point seven million minted that year. Yeah, that's a thirty five. For a second it caught the light and it looked like a nineteen twenty five, but it's a thirty five. We'll take it. Another roll that's just hard to get out, which I'm not complaining about. Seems to be good luck. Fifty two S nineteen thirty eight plane Let's see what else we got in here. Another nineteen thirty eight plane. Nineteen thirty six D forty point six million minted. Good coin. Nineteen fifty one D nineteen fifty five plain. Again, always fun to see the fifty five, but it's not a D and it's not a double die. Fifty eight D. like a 39 yep 1939 plane 316 plus million 1940 s 113 million just under 46 plane that's a common one Nice looking 37D, 50 million minted, 56D, 1948D, 172 plus million minted as well, pretty common, 1950D, Nineteen forty-four D. We always check those. Nothing. Looks like a thirty-five S. Thirty-eight point seven million. Good coin. Thirty-seven plane. Almost three hundred and ten million minute of those. Wow, a 1919 D. Best one to have for the 1919 year. Only 57 million minted. And that's a pretty good looking coin. Let me look at the back. That's yeah, worn pretty good. Got a nice scratch on it too. 
I'm gonna take a look at it under the loop for a second. 1937 plane again. Almost 310 million minted. 56D, common as can be. 51D, out of those. Ooh, a 1929 plane. 185 plus million minted, but it's good to see something in the 20s again. 51D. Nineteen thirty-nine S, fifty-two million of those minted. That's a good, good coin. Another yeah, shiny one, but it's a fifty-three S, fifty-six plain, thirty-nine S, fifty-two million of those minted. Fifty-six plain. Fifty seven plane, nineteen thirty eight Philly, pretty common. And that's what we got. Let's take a look. Nineteen forty four D, no surprise. One looks pretty worn. Yep, 1927, plain though, couldn't be the S, but 144 million plus minted, but we'll take it, we'll always take it in the 20s. 56 looks like a 1950 S. Another 1939S, which is 52 million of those made. That's a good coin. The last four, we get a 51D, 56D or S, hard to tell. Let me just make sure. It's a D. Nineteen thirty six D. Only forty million of those minted. Forty million six hundred and uh, twenty thousand, be exact. So that's a great coin as well. The final one that was the ender that looked like it would have been in good condition, but the end's pretty mangled up here, as you can see. Still a good looking coin overall. Let's take a look at the front. And true to nature, it's a 56, of course. And it's pretty heavily damaged, to tell you the truth, in the front. So not a great coin. But still exciting to open up that roll. Out of Watertown, Wisconsin. So we've got a nice collection here. I'll do a roundup video as the last part of this uh, series, just to give you guys a count, I'm trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes, and I'll let you know what we got in these six bank rolls.